Oh, please forgive my ugly brother. Hopefully everything is public. Because that oh, live 62. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Hello, everyone. First off, I apologize that this video is done in my car. Um, super busy today. Friend came into town. Um, <clears throat> driving all around. <sighs> But when you have the word of the Lord, it doesn't matter where you are or what you, where you're at to deliver the message. So uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. Um, I can't really read many comments because I want to say what I need to say. Um, all of you have heard Tiffany's video. Wonderful, beautiful amazing prophet of the Lord um, period <laughs> period um, and I understand her I understand her as a prophet I understand her as a woman of God I understand her as a woman who has that Elisha mantle when you are called to stand against systems it's a little bit different than just talking about regular you know regular issues um she's explained what happened to her at a specific church and i do believe um she was talking about the same church that i experienced things at uh i'm gonna go ahead and just start i was 17 years old i knew about god but i didn't go to church i didn't necessarily get into it i went to a church in um in Chicago through my aunt in the Spanish community it was great it was amazing that was that um, I meet this man who calls himself a prophet um, at an event that my mom's church had and this was a man who went to the church um, he worked for their sound or media or some type of graphic design back in 2008 I was 17 years old at 2000 in 2008 so I am getting there. He tells me, you're a prophet. You're this, you're that. You're called to do this, you're this. Again, I have no language for this. I don't know what I'm I thinking about. I don't know what's been said to me. And um, so this is all new knowledge. Again, somebody who is new to any subject is easily... Um, more naive than anybody else especially when you're in an environment where you think you should trust those people um so this is a prophet hey i'm your spiritual father this and the other um god has placed you on my heart and i'm just in there like huh yeah i don't know he gives me his number um he wants to have a meeting next thing you know we're in a homosexual relationship so this person who said he was supposed to be my spiritual father and mentor and prophet and guide and all this other stuff we're sleeping together um i was going to this particular church the church started to pick up um on what was going on and mind you this person was in their mid-20s uh, i think 26 at the time and i was 17. so i would go to church alone with him two guys um and it's everybody knew you know so i went through that i didn't want to leave him because i was more loyal to that i end up get a situation where i am at this church who is now the church of topic um and the pastors there find out they finally tell me hey uh, what's going on? You know, is, is everything okay? And I'm like, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I build up the courage after going through whatever I had to go through with God. And I end up confessing to them that I was in relationship with this person. And they end up having a meeting with the person. I don't know what was discussed. And from my understanding, they told the person that they are to either stop engaging in sexual relationships with men or they are to leave the church. Now, I've spoken to that per person, you know, years back, and they said they, they never told them that. They told them to leave the church, immediately leave, um, immediately get out, no affiliation, basically banned. They banned him, and they took me, and they took me in, um, because at that time, I was the victim. So, they take me in, and they're saying, hey, you know, all of this stuff. 
I give you how give you a timeline of how fast things move. I visited church on um, Thursday night that had just regular Bible study. Sunday night was, I mean, Sunday was my first Sunday and Tuesday I was up prophesying um, in prophetic class. Mind you, I don't know what a prophet is, don't know what prophecy is. I get up there and say, hey, this is you, you need to prophesy, you're this, you're this, you're that. So when things are talked about in Tiffany's live of the lure that some people have, it's very much so true. And it is so, so distinct and masterfully done that you have people like Michael Jackson, you have people like Bill Cosby, you have people like R. Kelly who are able to live wonderful, legendary lives but still not understand that there's a level of abuse and hurt and damaging um, effects that is going on. And even if they themselves who are in charge are not doing it because they know about it, sweetie, you're part of the issue. This is what we talk about when we say the church. We're not talking about the members. Let's not talk about the members. When I say the church, me personally, I do mean the church, but I mean leadership. People who tell you what to do, how to act, what is okay with God and what is not okay. When those people violate their own preaching, that, that I cannot stand for. I just can't. So with this, you know, being 17 years old, I get there, I'm moving, I'm in the church, I'm family, I have a situation going on with my own place, I move in with these people, these people, sorry, let me not say these people because I absolutely love them, absolutely love these people, I would have died for these people, I would have given everything for these people, but when you realize that these people are not who they say they are, it's it's more damaging than if the person got exposed. Sweetie, I don't care about exposing anybody. I don't care about exposing the truth. If it's not me, it's the Holy Ghost who exposes it. Don't be mad at me. I'm not the person that you need to be upset with or afraid of or anything like that. It's, it, it's a lot. So I get there, I'm raised. I end up living with the pastors for years, about five years, I lived with them. Then I roomated with someone else. And then, you know, I was always very, basically, I, everyone who knew this particular place knew me. I was there for 10, nearly 10 years, um, <laughs> nearly 10 years from the beginning, way before the millions of views, way before all of this. That's why it hurts me. I would be there. I would pray over chairs. I would stand and touch every chair that we had. I would set up the sound. I would plug in all nine mics. I would set the drums up. I would go ahead and bring the chords. I would go to the attic, pick that thing up. I would do what I have to do to set the church up, to go ahead and make sure they get a good, get, get a good service going, to make sure so-and-so. I had no knowledge of sound. I actually hated it. Sweetie, don't put me to work like that. I don't know what I'm doing. You say plug this in here plug that in there so I began to work for free <laughs> how many you know one for free <laughs> um so I began to do all this stuff and I didn't care about it because that is my father now you know I love this person I would do anything for him I would do anything for these people and so for me the vantage point is very it's hurtful it's so hurtful because you have just so much is in intertwined in this web that you only have two opposites. Like Tiffany said, you're either going to be blind and not choose not to see certain things or you're going to know and choose to ignore, period, point blank, period. And I have always been a prophet and I will always be a prophet. So one thing I cannot stand is pride and self-exalted things at all. If you exalt yourself, sweetie, at the end of the day, you're an idol and you will have to come down. And I had a conversation with the pastor one time and I had told him when I was doing my own soul searching, I have made you an idol in my life and I apologize for 
making you compete with God because that's all I did. I sat him in that seat where God was supposed to be. And what happened? God had to take him down. So God is a jealous God, but he is also just. So he will go ahead and and do whatever he has to do to make sure that to make sure that things get done where everybody is um everybody's protected in a way um so i do this i get all of this and i i've always struggled with homosexuality there's no um there's no there's no clue there's no guessing to that you know so i came in like that i've always been a rebel to say um i've always said that i i've it's been told i had a smart mouth you know jay's mouth is this jay's mouth is that be careful he's, he's gonna say what he wants to say he's gonna do what he wants to do yada 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 whatever the case may be so um i remember a, a, a huge fall is um in 2015 i believe um me and this other person who was also like a son uh, to the pastor, we engaged in a sexual act at a conference. At a conference where, you know, you're supposed to be getting a lot more uh, spiritual things and a lot less physical things, you know. So uh, that still happens to this day, you know. Let's, let's not, please, let's not, let's not fake it anymore. Now's the chance to actually say what it needs to, what needs to be said. So we engage in sex at this conference and I feel extremely, in the moment, I felt like I was preyed on because I would have never slept with this person, never would have known to sleep with, didn't have any desires. We slept in the same bed because, you know, we're getting our monies together, going broke for these damn conferences that we're spending money on, getting all of these, uh, paying other people's stuff in full while your stuff is in empty. No, darling, don't do that. You cannot continue to pay for these conferences. $50 for this class, $120 for this registration. Make sure you get it by this date. Do it at this time. Make sure press this. Oh, you want to speak this? You want a prophetic word? Blah, 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 whatever the case may be. But turn around and say, oh, how dare people charge for this, charge for that. You're doing the same thing. You're just charging for knowledge and stuff that should be free. You're charging for a new body. Bible is what you're doing because people who had the Bible back then everybody wasn't ac accessible to it so as religious folks they said oh we have something exclusive so guess what we're gonna make you pay for it we're gonna make you work for it we're gonna make you go ahead and do what you need to do so that you can be like this but guess what since we have the advantage we're gonna set the rules we're gonna say what we need to say we're gonna do what we need to do and only we have the knowledge so if you have any questions talk to us and go over there and then we'll be your priest from and to God doesn't work like that. So get to this conference. I'm sorry, there's just a whole lot. <laughs> but um, you get to this conference and you know, all of this. After that, 2015, I was living with them. I was told to get out, basically. I had nowhere to physically go. As a uh, 2015, I was how old? It's four years ago. So I was 20. Oh, this was 2015. Yeah, I was early 20s. I was living there since about 18. So I had nowhere to go after years of living with this particular peop th this particular pastor. Had nowhere to go, nothing to do. Like I had to be forced to go back to an environment that I came from because I slept with somebody in the church that was a male that was also close to the man of God. So I was told that things since then changed drastically. Once you violate certain rules and images are played out, oh, you're blackballed. And because me, I'm nobody. I came from nothing. So I wasn't a threat. I was not a threat. It was more so of a succumbing this one because this one has a lot in him. He has a lot of truth. He has a lot of stuff. And if we don't get that together, this is going to happen. And it's been said plenty of times of people saying, oh, we can't even say nothing to Jay because this and that, that whatever the case may be. So I was kicked out. 
I go back to my mom's house. I'm there for six months and I'm like, I don't care. Like, I can't stay here. I'm leaving. I got a roommate with somebody. I'm doing what I have to do. If I have to live uh, in a car, like whatever I have to do, I can't get back to this environment. So, um, no, there's a question that popped up and I'll just address that now and the rest of the people can leave. Um, we never had anything sexual go on. Never, 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 never. And this live is not about that it's not about any rumors this is about truth so you can be patient and listen to the story or you can watch the replay um so get this and i was told not to you know engage so we had to be separated because we were in the same click basically um and the click of being the apostles children yes that was a very destructive click like so many people wanted to be in this clique of nothing, of nobodies, like people who were teenagers running influence in the church. And I was a part of that because I was adopted as a son. I was taken in and I even found myself looking at people differently. And that's how religion gets infiltrated in your mind to where you feel like you're higher than because you're part of the fivefold, because I'm a prophet, because I'm this, because I'm an intercessor, sweetie, my level of intelligence or my uh, whatever I am, that means I'm closer to God because I know more about him. Mm -mm, no, no, you don't. You probably know more about him and are farther away from him. So we get that. And uh, it's been a few months or so. Again, as a man who deals with homosexuality, as a man in general, it's very hard to control your sexual desires. And whoever says different is whatever. Um, so it ended up happening again. And this was so two times that I've slept with someone in the church and it was twice. Mind you, the same person was being dealt with because they were a part of a church that engaged in orgies, physical orgies, not spiritual. Darling, darling, I'm not talking about nothing spiritual right now. People will get together after choir rehearsal, after whatever they need to do, stick their penises inside another nigga's butt. Yes, that's exactly what goes on. And it goes on till the t uh, presently, period. Okay, so I get this. I get the backlash because at, at this point, it's the first real like church betrayal ish type of thing we were growing everything's good and then now my sons sleep together whoa this is crazy so everybody's learning how to do deal with this but in the midst the way people have been treated is wrong and i know if somebody have talked to me and said oh well you know i understand you're upset of how things have been handled no 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 it's not about handling again tiffany says she's had sat on this for two years I have sat on it for years. I have continued to call people, reach out, whatever the case may be. So let's fast forward. So we end up having that happens. Um, this person is still allowed to armor bearer, the one that I slept with. I can't do anything. I get off the prophetic team, get off the intercessors team, get off of the prayer uh, Tuesdays. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't basically come in and sit your butt down, listen to the word and go ahead and leave. So that was happening he's still armor bearing he's still singing on praise and worship he's still going out to the uh ministry engagements as the armor bearer as the prophetic psalmist whatever the case may be how is it that i am a son who lived and all of this stuff and i'm being treated like Shh. oh because i don't offer anything that's what it is i'm not a singer i'm not a musician if you're a musician please you're a musician you're golden I don't offer things about uh, their finances or branding or anything that can benefit their growth in the mass because I'm not that person. Oh, okay. We need him this much. We need that person over there because he knows how to brand. He knows how to do this. He knows how to do that. Sweetie, you end up in situations like this. You end up in situations like this. So... That was that ends up happening. So fast forward, I get this person who comes on to me and um, in the church, that was the only person, the person that I actually slept with 
one person, two occasions, and only two, and only one person. Uh, mind you, people who are presently there lived with their boyfriends. Not only did they live with them, these are pastors, people who are on the payroll till this day. They get paid to stick their dick in someone else, darling. Your tithes pay someone's salary to have fun and take their men on dates, darling. That's where your tithes go. But, you know, me, oh, I'm not a prophet because of this, this, that, and the other. And they'll try to discredit, like, like, like Tiffany said, sweetie, this is not my audience. I'm so far gone from this. It's happening in, in a lot of churches and specifically this one. And it, it baffles me because I was thrown. Okay, let's go. So yeah, um, this person comes on to me and you know, they're like, this time the other new to church and I'm like, eh, whatever. I start pushing him to a different crowd of people because I'm not trying to mess. This is after the first encounter where I really, I had gotten this and the other. You need to go to counseling. You need this. You need that. You need this, all this other stuff. So this guy comes out to me. I said, whatever. He ends up finding out that he's like underage person. And I'm like, whoa, no. First of all, there's nothing sexual anyway. The fact that you continue to, oh, Jay, this, oh, can you give me a ride? There was nothing like that. There was nothing sexual crazy, but I can tell that that's what this person was probably on. And so that sent flight. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. And it got wind that I was downtown. So happened this person's downtown. Oh, would you like to see? Of course. Oh, Jay, da da da. Let's da da. They, somebody from the church sees us walking, and now all of a sudden I'm in a relationship with this person and I'm sleeping and taking advantage of this person. Sweetie, how did you get all that information off of seeing two people, two obvious gay men walking down the street? How did you how did you get that conclusion? So I was brought in um, to this meeting and um, sat down. The apostle was not there. We had um, the right hand man and two other executive pastors or pastors, assistant pastors. I'm not sure, whatever the titles you want. Um, they sat me down and they said, well, I hate to do this, but we got to ask you to leave all nations. And I said, huh? I, huh? You mean to tell me, first of all, you're asking me to leave. Second of all, this is my father. Third of all, why isn't he here to tell me any of this? Oh, because he's hurt. So forget my hurt. Forget me. Because we don't hurt. Normal people don't hurt. We don't deserve to hurt. All of our hurt came from the world and we need to get delivered from that. Oh, but the hurt of a leader. Betrayal. Sweetie, no, no, no. Not betrayal. Not Judas. Nobody should ever think of themselves as Jesus to be thinking that you have a Judas. No, 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 don't, not Judas, more like Moses. And Pharaoh's time is just pretty much up. Um, so I was told you cannot come to all nations, da, da. <laughs> you cannot come all the way to this side of town <laughs> and attend this church. Um, you cannot attend any church that affiliates with this church, with our church. You cannot attend any activity that this church throws, any event that this church throws. Any church that is in relationship to this church, that event that they throw, I cannot attend. Sweetie, first of all, what you're telling me is not to go to church. What you're telling me is to just basically sit down, go to church in Indiana or something, probably not even that. Um, and it says you are to go to counseling. This happened in November. It was like, we're going to assess you. And based upon if you go to counseling, if you seek help, if you get therapy, you can come back January 1st. So I get this counselor in the church also, um, who I don't know if she's actually licensed. 
So let's talk about that male practice. But if she is great, amazing at the time, I hope she was. I love that woman to death. But to understand how intricate, intricate, intricate the church works, but it's all just fraud, fraudulent to go about it. Um, and I would not care if this was us talking about them. But no, 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 no. When someone is as aggressive as that church, when someone has the balls to say, oh, this and that and this, that, you are to do this, you will die if this. Speak about false prophecy, calling death on people, calling darkness and curses, that you will be accountable for. That. That will not stand as a prophet. No, 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 no. Especially on those who leave. I have left and I, you know, since then I will go back, but I am in a relationship with my fiance who is a male and we will be getting married and the curses that have came from that man's mouth once he found out was just amazing. I, I cannot repeat it. But the curses that he has said of this and that and this is going to this and everything you touch and this that and the other and the script the script of a jezebelic spirit um oh i love jezebel because jezebel will tell on herself and tell you stand straight up and say i'm not jezebel look you straight in her face in its face and say you're not jezebel no 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 but that that's talking is jezebel yes it is <laughs> um so <sighs> Basically, hold on. So I was told to do this. I go to counseling. I'm there. Um, I am meeting weekly. Um, then there was a few times where the counselor was like, oh, um, I can't meet this time. You know, let's save for next week. I was like, okay, sure. Then the next week came and it was like, oh, I'm so sorry. We have this going. And I'm like, okay, that's two weeks I miss. Um, I, I mean, technically, I ain't paying for it. So, okay. Um, the third week. Oh, something at that point. I don't chase niggas. No, 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 no. Three weeks you in a row. You reschedule my counseling session when I'm getting ready to go. Okay, whatever. So she honestly was not that biased. I don't know. I don't think they still attend, but um, she had told me January 1st came around around when I was supposed to be let back into the church. And um, I didn't say anything because I'm passive. I, I'm the one who did wrong, you know? So I don't. I feel like I don't have a voice. I, I shouldn't say anything. I shouldn't question these people. It's whatever they say. And so I go ahead and um, I say, she talks to me, January 1st is here. Did anybody reach out to you? No. January 5th is coming. No, you need to reach out to them. If they made a deal and said that January 1st, you can become, you can come back to church. If you go to counseling, if you do this, and I did every single thing that they had told me to do. I didn't go to church for two months. I even begged and pleaded with the pastor to say, can I come to this annual conference that I've never missed in like nine years and eight years, whatever. I never missed. I love, this is my favorite time of the year. I said, I'll sit by the counselor the whole time. I will be escorted i don't even care i just want the presence of god i just really want to be in that worship i really just want to get the teaching no okay damn no okay january 6th comes around i contact the right hand man oh well, we're waiting on word from apostle in my head but you said january 1st i did everything that you said to do but okay so january 1st here comes january whatever here comes the end of January. I'm saying, hey, what's going on? Oh, we were still waiting on word from Apostle, you know, da da da. February came around. Hey, what's going on? It's a whole month. Oh, well, we're waiting on word from Apostle. March comes around. I get a call from the other executive pastor, like, and it's a, well, no matter what happens, I still want to be here for you. And I trust him. I love him. Amazing person. And March comes around, it's just not talking. So, why three months you mean to tell me a three months that that's like you told me i was gonna get off of parole january 1st and you're playing with me like what what kind of stuff is this so go ahead and at that point i i start to lose desire to even return because they were doing it very 
I talked and I reached out. And even still then we had this and it was like, well, you know, at that time we were hurt. This was happening. This was a lot for me. You don't understand my perspective and me, 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 me. Sweetie, I'm the one who went through the mess. Did you not understand that? I'm the one who had to pick up my stuff and not have nowhere to go at a, as an early 22-year-old person who's been living in this house for so long, who has raised children there, who has done all of this, and yet I cannot return to church, but you can hire someone who is sleeping with the other person that you hired. How is that? And don't sit here and tell me not to drag anybody's name, not to do this, not to do that. That's the problem with the church. Why is it that leaders are held with a higher level of respect than regular people? The fact that I have to say regular people is a shame. And it's not nothing new under the sun, period. And so that's that. All of the stuff that has happened that Tiffany has said, I believe her 100%. And I'm tired of people being called witches. I have seen people leave the church. People that I still talk to. People who left because of pregnancy, because of uh, relationship, because of whatever. Sweetie, why are you coming so hard for the gays and almost all of your people take it or give it? Huh? Why? And as a prophet, you know Dang on well, I didn't, I gave hundreds of warnings. I would say it all the time. Change your clothes. I can see your dick print. Do this. I can do this. Do this. Do that. This is not, this is not the way the kingdom is supposed to be ran. Watch this person. They're still dealing with this. And I don't care about people dealing with stuff. And that's the problem because people can deal with things. Oh, we're, we're dealing with them. You know, they're doing this. We're doing that. Sweetie, you only love the people who want to change, but only if they want to change and become a part of the church. Because if not, no. <laughs> Rip all of the resources that you've given them while they were there. So all the free cars? Yeah. If you leave, uh, excuse me, darling, that's on our church name. Give me that back. And that has happened. Money. Paying people. Paying people <laughs> all these secret seeds and just mat we just want to magically sow into people. Hell, I go to a church if they pay me two hundred dollar seeds and we just want to sow into your life, man of God. So whatever type of blessing and money you want, you know, so whatever you want. And it hurts me to say this because you don't understand how much I really know this particular church like I said I have raised the children that is you don't understand the sacrifices that people do but because Tiffany has said something and because I understand a prophet in warfare sweetie prophets are not intimidated by anything especially when they have the truth I don't care I'll fight one against 10,000 but in a situation like this, we have to understand that this is an Elisha anointing. So what happens with Elisha is he needs to open the other people's eyes to see the real spiritual warfare that's going on. And the problem is this, continuing of the harassment, oh, you'll never do this, you'll never have this. And you have the nerve to call people witches, but you continually curse them and have no remorse. No remorse. Who cares? <laughs> because we run this. And another thing I want to address that is hilarious, and I'm glad Tiffany was intelligent enough to pay attention to this detail because many people don't decipher things like this. Me, I did, but I was grown up. I was groomed in this church so it's harder for me to get an outside perspective because my entire perspective has been taught by this church and so my entire being was grown into this Tiffany on the other hand was able to have that outside perspective and what she said was very true every person that is vibing for this 
man who I absolutely love, who would sound like confusion because I'm on here on this live, but I say I love him, which is how intertwined this situation is and how deep it is. And this is why we have people who become great in the kingdom and they sit here and never show that side of working. Ministry is not a business and that's the problem. People continually are viewed as dollar signs or liabilities, something. So she brought up a point in saying like, everybody vibing for this person, sorry, um, was basically saying the same thing. And that was at my lowest point in my life this person appears hmm everybody says that everyone at the lowest point of my life this person boom popped in not popped in forced like you're a prophet come here prophesy what do you mean I don't know what do you I don't know what prophecy is. I'm 17 years old um, do you hear something? Do you see something? I'm looking at this person. Okay, I could look at this person and I see a construction company. I see a wife. I see like three boys. I see like a red truck. I don't know. Like how it was this is weird to me. Sure enough. Yeah. Person had a construction job, wife, they drove a red truck, things like that. So to get information and really be invested in the gifts, sweetie, I'm talking about words of knowledge phone numbers, addresses, things that only a spiritual being can actually reveal this. It's not it, it it's not it, it's not a game. This is real vulnerable people being taken advantage of, and that's all it is. And it hurts me to say that because so much good has came from this place, but that's why I understand like wow, Moses must feel like crap. Moses must feel like crap. Because being raised in a system that you have to combat, wow, that sucks. Because you have to sit there and be like, shoot, I love these people so much. But this is a this is a shame. The gossip that goes on. When I tell you I have never heard so much shit talking about people as I did in the church as I did in this church because this is really pretty much a main church of mine talking about members talking about leaders talking about how fat they are how ugly people are how broke they are how oh they must be eating out of a can oh they must be doing this and this is who you choose to give your money to people this is what pisses off a prophet don't take advantage of god's people thank you for teaching me that lesson thank you thank you thank you talking about people I, every person, every person that joined the church, every person that was a part of the church, every person that left the church, everybody on everything. So before you sit there and say, he would never, he, yeah, yeah. And what breaks my heart is that maybe this needs to happen. You know, everyone has that low moment that God takes them and say, you need to give this up because it's going to kill you. And some of these people need to understand that this church business is killing them. It's killing them and it's taking hella people with it. With it. Hella people with it. And you know what the sucky part is? I'm still looking for... There's very pure people out there. There are. And that's the only reason people need to speak because there's so much positive that has came from this place. I'm talking about the get like I would not be where I am today if it was not for, for, for this place. 
But that's what makes it even more manipulative and more occultish. Now, I'm going to say it because I have all backing from whatever backing I feel like I need, period. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And Jay has always stood for that, no matter who he offends. But the level of witchcraft, the giftings, yeah. We hear that scripture of, oh, signs, miracles, wonders, but I never knew you. You think they're talking about people in robes and rings and stuff. No, they're talking about prophets. They're talking about even the elect. They're talking about those people that are ridiculously admired. Those people, too. And what, what, what destroys me most is that all of this could have been prevented had it not been for greed. That's all it really was. Greed. If you watch Greenleaf, <laughs> greed is all it really is, darling. Greed for money, greed to be on top, greed to be the fastest. What pisses me off is that you sat, and this is all on YouTube, you sat and bashed churches that sat there and said, fastest growing church, we don't care about no fasting growing church when they're go fasting going to hell. Hmm. Funny that that's the same verbiage that is being described for this church that you said, you know? Same thing in connection with another huge church in Chicago that I went to towards the end of, you know, me leaving and moving to L.A. You talked about this man. Oh, at that person's church, there's so many gays there. There's all of the queens go there and, oh, they go to the club and Sunday morning they go. They're not really saved. At so-and-so's church, they're not really saved. They this, they that. But you smiling on a picture. My buddy, this person is bringing the glory to your conference. And you have the nerve to talk about his church and how saved they are not. But you bring him to your conference to make money. You bring him to your conference to bring the glory. Because that man can pray. That man can pray. That man can pray. But his church ain't saved. Bunch of hellions in there. And the funny thing is, I'm ready for any type of <laughs> rebound of anything I say. Because like Tiffany said, the people who know, know. The people who don't, don't. So with the manipulation, and this is what I want people to understand. Um, when somebody cannot control you, they have to build an environment that controls you. So what happens is this. Um, I may not tell you not to go to a place, but I'm going to make an environment so infiltrated with what I say and do that you won't even want to go to that place. Yeah, that's exactly how it happens. That's the master manipulator. Y'all need to uh, listen to Lauren Hill's Unplugged album. Ooh, <laughs> plug that in really quickly. But um, the master manipulator, like receiving multiple people's favor, like it's, it hurts. It really does hurt. Um, and that's exactly what it is. It's a lot of control. But if you look at it on paper, no, I bettered your life. I gave you this. I sold into your life. I caught you at the most lowest point. I put food on your table. I put clothes on your back. I did this. I did that. I did this. I did that. I did this. I did that. Yeah, but did you love me for real? Because if I fell, why did I get treated so differently? And by me saying I, I don't mean I, Jose Amaro. I mean I as the sheep. I as the sheep. And you as a prof prophet of the Lord. And the problem is I, I, it's, 
you can believe what you want to believe. And with this being said, it's just really, it, it's hurtful to hear them call people witches. And the shirt, how carnal this pastor has on. Talk about witch, please. You really want to say bitch, please. But because you're a pastor, you cannot. Oh, cussing? Yeah, they cuss all the time. Um, calling this woman a witch because she's smart enough to see what's going on. But she's only been here five months. How dare she come in and read us like this? I've been there. And I can say it's true. And it hurts me because somebody commented and said, you believe what she's saying is true? And it hurt me to say, yes, I believe her. And it was a wow, okay. But when I tell you that church has it all, it has it all. What I'm most pissed about is the homosexuality that is allowed in there. But if you're a, a member in the pew, or you better not struggle. Or you better make sure your ass is in them deliverance classes. You better sign up. You better not miss a prayer. You better not do this. You better not do that. But my executive pastor can have a whole living man. Don't. Don't come for the people of God. It's disgusting. And it literally has made my stomach sick. Because it hurts me most to do this. To talk about someone that... The one person that was there for you. The one person that I owe my level of new love. Kind of too, you know? It wasn't all because of this person. But this person introduces a lot of great, positive things. And yes, a lot of great has come out of this. I know who I was. I've learned about the prophetic. I've done all of that. But the problem is you don't expect people to get as smart as they do. And for you to continue to use, oh, well, you, the fact that they told her, oh, you're just used to being the smartest person in the room and you're not the smartest person in the room. Things like that are just so, it's, oh, that's just tough love. It's emotional abuse. It's verbal abuse of why would you do that? Why would you wear that? Why would you this, that, and the other? And the audacity. And when I tell you the rebukes come, the rebukes come, darling. That's when the stuff hits the fan. When you need to get rebuked, pastor, leader, I'm sorry, elder, who? Talking like that. And they know, and they know, and that's the problem. I have spoken and I've said, I'm a prophet to the bone. Let me figure out my relationship with God or my sexuality or whatever the case may be. That's my issue, darling. It's nothing to do with people still being taken advantage of. I'm still a prophet, what I said was true. Still taking advantage of people. Still manipulating people. Still raping people for the dang money, for the dang, don't work for free here, don't do this, don't help that person because we need it. And I said it before, that church is chasing fame and success. What blows my mind is that they will preach everything that should not be done. Or should, you should not have this heart against this issue, but have that and do that don't chase greed but we're chasing it don't be carnal but they're carnal don't get this don't do that but it's all of that sweetie you worried about me and my tides took these two niggas on a day that what? But I'm wrong. But I'm wrong. Because I should not be speaking that. I should not expose that. You should go to those people. You should talk to them. You should have a conversation. Have you tried? Sweetie, it's been years. I tried three months when I was still a lost 22-year-old to be raised at 17 years old. Then thrown out at 22 and say, figure it out. 
you damn well I am glad that I, I will be glad <laughs> to take all my strength and keep it moving because yeah you taught me how to be this strong but don't don't harass people that leave don't send minions to ask questions and to play matchmaker and to do all of this. All of this I have said, darling. All of this I have said. These people, watch these people. This person wants to sleep with you. Those people, don't let that man, I know you into the whole, you know, delivering homosexuals, but this person wants to fuck you, basically. This person wants to sleep with you. This person can't wait to you hug them so they can feel your body on them. So they can get a brush of your thick so that they can feel your arms and your muscles and all this stuff it's nothing new i have had conversation after conversation after conversation pack it up become a businessman an entrepreneur something save it while you're doing it now and the problem is it, i i don't know where it's gonna go after this i honestly don't even believe they didn't owe you anything yet. You gave so much like you were their own child. Uh, see, this hurts a lot because these people I love, I love so much. But I love truth more. I love truth more. And when I tell you, you don't understand the pain that I feel, you don't. And it's not fair to me. Forget being fair to him and everybody else, because we're always fair to them. Always fair to them. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you to ch start a church. I didn't tell you to grab these people from the clubs and the bars and the... Uh... But because of me, you hurt me. And when I said you hurt me, and when I've had conversations, and when I said you didn't even apologize, I don't even care about it. I'm willing to let it go. Let's have a conversation, let's do this. Pride. Oh, you think you ain't hurt me? You think you ain't it? I'm trying to give you conversational, like speaking. When I tell you I don't know how to feel, like I am losing a piece of my heart by doing this live. I am losing so much, so much by doing this live. But when the... Psst. When you have the word of the Lord, it's the word of the Lord. Now you can sit here and call me a witch. Or I do this. Or oh, you're in a gay relationship. How do you don't have no word of the Lord? You smoke. You drink. You do this. You do that. You party. And what up? Uh, yeah, I do that. And you do that. <laughs> like you do whatever you. It's. It's a shame. It's a shame because you cannot bash me and get rid of my message. It's still true. Um, so, no. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of dumb comments in here. But um, yeah, so to clear it up, it's, I've said it before, it's occultic, it hurts me. Oh, the stone in my heart that I feel to say that. It's just a lot. I have laid with my sibling on my chest. I've, I've done it all and it hurts so much. So much. But it, 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 it has to stop because the bullying of church people, the leaders that operate in these disgusting ways how many times you're gonna fall sir you're married you're still fuck around with niggas oh but you're, you're you oh you just you know you you just had a fall me i'm on an assignment i'm on an assignment to get some but the same person who is multiple who has multiple occurrences in the church they just going through they just no 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 see the problem is you didn't ran into a real prophet what member no, no, nothing to do with our leaders okay and that's another thing i want to address thank you marquita 
because this is not this is the biggest dilemma oh what goes on in the church has nothing to do with leaders leadership it has everything because people have contacted them god will never do nothing without warning isn't that what the real issue is god will not do things without a warning so do you think that this body of christ was not warned how many times do we have to warn y'all period period how many times how many more people are being abused how many people go in go into debt for these people this is this is it time's up because i'm not making myself look bad that's that okay i'm just gonna stop responding because i'll get distracted um it, it's 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 a lot he's trying to get me to call and stop and do all of this stuff but why where was all of this energy when i was thrown out what was all of this energy that i've spent with 10 years of these people when i left ask me how many people even called to say hey are you okay hey we haven't seen you in a while hey this hey that i can count on this hand um many people one of them is sitting right here but how many people called me oh but so many people love me so many i did so much stop the sh stop stop because couldn't nobody just say hey how you doing that's it when i was going through the worst times of my life when I continue to reach out for people, I expose myself. I expose myself on Facebook. You know, I don't care. I put anything on Facebook. I expose myself. You think I got calls? Few people, beautiful people. One of the psalmists there and her three boys. I love her to death. Another person I love to death that's commenting that is hurting me to even talk about this. But it's a few people that really do i genuinely care there's some people some people that i saw backslide and i don't know i made sure to contact them one of them who works in the school system every time that i would get a chance i'll be like hey i just i love you blah 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 and i didn't get none of that back and but the problem is this this video is not because of that it's because oh well the truth needs to be said and it's going to be said and and it is what it is I will somehow get to the questions. I will somehow. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. These teeth are actually real. Leave me alone. Joe busted itself. Um, I'll figure out how to get questions and all of that. But I really need to come on here. Needed to come on here. And I thank Tiffany so much. That witch. <laughs> Y'all so disrespectful. Calling a true prophet that. But sweet, sweet, it doesn't. Yeah. That's why I said prophets don't get intimidated. When you, like she said, when you got a burden on your chest, you don't care who's upset. When you, you ain't been carrying this. And if you have, mind your business and carry yours. But this weight, this level of warfare, my fiance has to deal with the emotional abuse, the f verbal abuse that has been done to me by that church he has to deal with it you see so now this is him having to understand okay my trust certain things and my questions and my all of this is huh because of the damage that i've gotten from the church but oh the church can't hurt nobody it's the people in the church the church didn't hurt you it was the people the leaders know what's going on stop freaking lying stop lying and say the leaders didn't know maybe not all of them because some of them are so genuine and amazing and lovable but the people who matter who make decisions who sit in meetings when it comes to meeting with the city and board and planning and all of that those people know so yeah it is the church and leaders know because why my big mouth told them my big mouth would warn them I have told multiple times, that person is trying to sleep with you. 
OJ, 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 everything's OJ, you're always the bearer of bad news, always Debbie Downer, always this, that, and the other. I'm sorry, man of God, that Jezebel and Pride and Leviathan bring all of those types of anointings. But yeah, like, it's amazing the amount of abuse that comes from church and them raping people of their work don't work for free. Set your own church up. Put your own tables up. Vacuum your old damn rug. Stop playing with these people and giving them seeds and cars and apartments. And this person who works for Section 8 now is getting apartments and their room. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not do that. As furious as you want to be, um, when I wanted to try that, I was nothing but evil, mm, period. Um, and I listen to so many people, oh, this, oh my God, there's an energy, that there's a spirit there. It's just not right and this and the other. And here my mouth comes vibing for these people. No, you don't understand. You're not that deep. You don't understand the prophetic. You don't understand levels of deliverance and warfare and generational curses and vagabond spirit and Absalom and all of these things and 50 rules of engagement and and all of these uh, prophetic watchmen books and I've read books upon books upon books and notes upon notes upon notes. That's how you learn. That's how you learn maturely. That you even assess the system that taught you and say, hold on, thank you for this. Thank you for this school lesson. But um, y'all ain't even following the rules. How that work? How does that work? Um... And that's really what it is. It's really what it is. So many people can, and I hope do come and tell, married couples who got divorces, married couples who had affairs, married couples who play around, single women who play around, gay men, please, that's 80%. Um, you know men are horny. Gay men are hornier, darling. They're hornier. In the church, they nastier. That's what it is. That's what it is. Teenagers, young adults, and it's it's pathetic. Oh, when I, oh, yeah, yeah, I hate these comments are hilarious. But yeah, so thank you for the live. I think I'm done. I feel the spirit just kind of going. You can go ahead and have whatever you want to like whatever feelings you want to have have them honor those things i'm not telling you to think a certain thought excuse me i'm not telling you to feel a certain feeling i'm not telling you to go a certain direction what i'm telling you is this is what happens if you choose to support speechless if you don't move when the spirit says move you see when the earth be like whoop, swallow things up but it, the nerve to tell me the earth will swallow you up oh man of god prophet of the lord you told me the earth is gonna swallow me up and this isn't this isn't prophetic play these are curses. These are curses. Sweetie, the earth is going to swallow me up. Why would he do a prophet like that? <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'm ready. I'm ready for the Absalom. Judas. Oh, how dare you? Sweetie, I'm tired of people getting taken advantage of. Paying tithes while the leaders are each other hmm paying for the building that they miss what like Tiffany said you asked what was done with the money great things programs events things like that but also not so great things and that's it not so great things and that's the problem with when you're in like an occultic realm like that 
You think that, like, the enemy doesn't, like, the enemy isn't. I'm asking God for mercy for you. What do you got? Are you asking God for mercy for me? Why? Because the Lord is going to kill me? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Because I don't need mercy for the truth. People need mercy for the abuse. And I'm sick of it. I've always been a protector. And that means of the sheep too. The sheep. I was trained to see myself way more higher than these people. Oh, you can't sit there. Oh, you can't do this. Oh, you can't. But talk about other religions. Oh, um, the they you, wearing all white doesn't make you holy. Yeah, well, praying in tongues doesn't make you holy when that same tongue is licking somebody else's penis that is a part of leadership. Does that make you holy? Because if so, man of God, I am holier <laughs> than a lot of us. You see, like, come on. Let's not do that. Seeds. Every Sunday, you got a seed to... I'm, dang, I want to go out to eat tonight. But let me go sell this $40 because he gave a good message and it really did hit me. Please, every single message is geared to hit and relate to someone. That is, I've talked about that. If you want to be a speaker, maybe you need to fine tune. You, you're not, you're, you're saying too much, you're doing too much. A lot of that, God is not the author of confusion. I just joined church. What the hell am I learning about like being a prophet and diving straight into my gift? Because guess what? That was the only thing I pretty much had going for me. Oh, he's a prophet. He can see. He's great. He's a watchman. Let's get him going here. Boom. Keep him at that level. These are the men you choose to sleep with. Who? No. This does. Because I have told the leaders this is going on. And what was it? Don't. Jay, shut it. Jay, don't, don't, don't. Uh, the peop uh, people are asleep. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, people are sleeping together. Da 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 da. Jay. Da 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 da. Jay. Da da da. Jay. So don't. Now you can't shut me up. When I wanted to meet for you with you for three months, as your son, somebody who lived with you, I was this close to changing my last name, darling. All we had to do was go to a meeting and sign a paper. And that's why. My life will never really be the same, you know, because I love these people. I always will. I always will love these people. But the brainwashing, the mind control, and even for, like, ugh, my best friend. I, it's hard because he was my best friend. I don't know how to relate to him now because I love him so much. I always will love him. The person that I roommated with calls me like, hey, you know just being a good friend and it hurts me to even hear it but when you need to say something you need to say it and it affects a lot of people and it does affect a lot of people but a lot more people are being affected and so it's just like oh who cares if we hurt the sheep's feelings we care about the leader's feelings because ultimately you know sheep come and go but leaders we need and no 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 um and that's it period and all the messages that come please bring them all the questions you have please inbox them i will try to get to them like we'll figure something out of like because i want to help people in understanding what you need to do to get out it's just you have to have your own mind you have to have your own mind question everything that's me as a person i question everything now hey how are you <laughs> Miss Montgomery, um, te test everything that you need to test. Because when I tell you, I'm not Judas, because you ain't Jesus. But I am Moses. Because that Pharaoh anointing, well, it's not anointing, I'll call it a energy. That Pharaoh's energy that hovers. 
that's why people don't see that's that's exactly why the children of Israel that's exactly why the just it's hard to get the masses to see because it's like no this that and the other how many man damn deliverances are y'all gonna have how many prayer meetings are y'all gonna have you still gonna sleep with men he's still he as in the person that they work with not the pastor never never had anything sexual happen and I I will say that to the day I die I, I'm talking about the truth I'm not here to to tear someone down I'm here to actually tell the truth for for them to look at themselves and realize you know what we screwed up some people's lives and the problem is I can I continue to say that everything that I did I was chewed up when I got these tattoos Jesus and you can't see the other one deliverer in 2012 I told I was going to hell uh, Um, okay, Marquita, I really do love you, but please stop talking. Please, I love you, and I would never disrespect you. But please stop talking because you're, you're making yourself look bad. I love you, and I will always love you to death. But please, get off of my live with the lies, because guess what after this? I told you that that whatever is going on will always come to light darling will always come to life yeah you're right when people come to this church they are all screwed up and guess what you cuddle them but raise them to be screwed up that's what happens so you you feed them you nurture them but you raise them in your benefit like oh We'll, we'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. Period. Right, Justin Jenkins? Uh, how am I disrespecting you? Period. Just, you're disrespecting me because you're on my life. So, I'm not disrespecting you. But, um, I'm not going to give that much attention to this because it, it, it's, it's exactly what's going on. And you can't I, i'm tired of oh well that doesn't mean the person the leader that doesn't mean the leader it does mean the leader it does mean the leader because if you as a leader cannot deal or manage with your leaders then yes it is your responsibility sweetie a teacher aka leader will be whipped with double whips and that's scripture what does that mean that means i'm gonna whip you for doing wrong and then i'm gonna whip you because you taught them to do wrong so you're gonna get it twice so that's exactly what's going on a teacher is getting whipped because you're messing with people you're messing with people and you love them in it and and I, and that's amazing. I would never be where I am at if it wasn't for this place. But you know, as hard as it was for Moses to look back and be like, "Dang. God, why can't you choose anybody else? Why couldn't you tell anybody else this message? You got to tell me." Dang. And um so Okay, a lot of comments. Basically, yeah, I love them, which, of course, everybody say, you can't love them, and uh, I don't care. You listen to what I say now, because everybody else in the church has plenty of time to talk. Ten years of talking. I think it's done that they talk, you know? I think now, talk about it. Talk about the people sleeping with each other. It has nothing to do with the leaders. It has everything to do with the leaders. Because I have told the leaders multiple times what was going on. Other people have told. The leaders are so invested in their life. I could not do nothing without knowing. And that's the problem. I was like, oh, he's such a good father because he wants to know every detail. So he knows when an attack comes, he's able to warn me. But also he knows how to maneuver. Um, and it's 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 an occult that's the ending that's my closure
um, it is a it's a cult and it's the same thing when people look at Michael Jackson people look at R. Kelly look at this and they be like oh no half of the people don't understand half of the people still support other people are like I've been new other people it's, it's the same thing darling it's the same thing when people are not right on the inside that's what happens when everything comes out it comes out like a whip because you started talking on prophets you started calling people witches oh where's the balls now you have balls to call people witches while they're in your meetings or church you have called you called me multiple times called me on the phone didn't even say hey how you doing son answer the phone what's going on with you blah 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 you look like a witch you call me a witch we haven't spoken in so many like i'm a witch how did i become a backslider to a witch that quick everybody's a witch that don't agree with that church everybody's a warlock that has questions about that church everybody's on assignment everybody's different stop playing with the people of god that's why that's what's happening and the people will be people they will rise and the truth will rise and that's it period i love them i always will love them and even if i never speak to them I, when I tell you nobody can understand the love I have for them, nobody can understand it. Nobody can understand it. They may not even understand it. But that's like when you really whip your child. That's like if your child did something horribly and you had to whip them really bad that time. This is what God's doing. He's just whipping you really bad this time. Child. Go ahead and fight for people. It doesn't matter. Everybody, oh, this, that, and the other. Yeah, same thing. That's why I said, just like Tiffany said, darling, I don't, I don't belong to you. My God. <laughs> oh, I feel like breaking into Helen Baylor's uh, testimony. Um, but I'm living my life. I'm doing great because why? I was able to assess what was holding me down. When I tell you the spiritual warfare that I have received from leaving this church. Who's that? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, the warfare that I have received from leaving that church is amazing. I'm telling you, I my body would feel it, and you cannot sit here and tell me, oh, well, that's the dealing of God. What God? Because it ain't Jesus. This ain't no restlessness of the Holy Ghost. You know, the Holy Ghost will haunt you. The Holy... Why the hell the damn Holy Ghost gotta be so damn mean? He's not that mean. He's not that evil. He's not that dark. He's not that spooky. He's not that exclusive. He's not that selective he's not that way at all period you want to make him that way you want to be the holy ghost you don't want the holy ghost to be the holy ghost because the holy ghost is not biased but you are so if you can be a holy ghost in somebody else's life that's what you will be and i've told you that multiple times multiple people i've said uh no the holy ghost you're trying to be um uh, thank you. I'm doing well. My life is great. Um, I hope all of these people see it and begin to ask, question themselves. If you are in relation to this church, because when I got kicked out, I would say you can't even go to other churches. When I tell you there was this church in the West Side, beautiful man, beautiful wife daughter three boys i loved going to that church that was my second home this man had an anointing on him he can pray he was so eloquent like i saw me in him in this apostle on the west side of chicago and i loved him i was like man this is this is pure fatherhood you got the nerve to talk about your brother this church that you're with that you dog 
oh, they'll never be nothing at, at this place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'll never get nothing at that place. Oh, he thinks he's all of that because he sounds most like dad or apostle so-and-so who is the big person with the church on the south side who's wrote books and authors and all of that. And I was disgusted when I would hear this leader who it's not about our leaders, but this leader who would talk about his brother in Christ and not brother in Christ, I'm talking about brother in click, you know, you know how you have network of churches and you talk about somebody that's in your network that you had on your conferences. Stop talking about people that you put on your conferences or had on your conferences. Same thing with Tiffany. You used her, but once you realized that you couldn't get her the way you wanted to get her, now all of a sudden she a witch. Now all of a sudden this happened. Now all of a sudden, oh, she Jezebel. She's full of this, she's full of that. No, no, you're Jezebel while trying to match make people, okay? Like, you steady matchmaking. The ugliest niggas out the bunch. <laughs> but... Take what you want to take from this. Say what you want to say. Um, and that's that's all, period. Um, I have never slept with any leader in that church. Um, I'm not contradicting myself, darling. That's how the cult works. I'm not going to, you can't discredit me anymore, Marquita or anybody else. You can't discredit me. Ooh, my bad, my bad. Nigga, the devil. <laughs> oh, my bad. Just going <laughs> to pop up in my car. Period. <laughs> um, you can't discredit me. You can't make me say, and that's what they're going to do. And let, let, let me, I wouldn't be a prophet if I didn't give you a warning. This is what's going to happen. Let me explain. Jay's so hurt. Jay's just bad because of this. Jay's this. Jay's hurt. Jay's bitter. Jay's just mad because he lost it all. And Jay's this and Jay's that. Same thing they're doing with Tiffany. Same thing they're doing with everything else. Um, they will discredit someone to make them seem like so crazy. Because what you're saying, oh my God, this is crazy. This couldn't happen. It does. It does. And it happens very often um i didn't say i said what you guys were gonna say that's that's what the church is gonna say uh, that i'm bitter and that i'm hurt and that i'm all of this stuff believe them if you want to waste and that's it's like a cancer the church that this place is like a cancer no 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 let me explain to this and you can write this down in your notes this place is chemotherapy so you got a cancer you got something wrong with you. You come to this church. Oh, we'll, we'll cure your cancer. But we're going to have to put you through chemo. So you're going to lose all your hair. Your skin going to be different. The way you walk going to be different. The way you talk going to be different. All of that's going to change. We're going to get rid of the cancer. We're going to get rid of the cancer. <laughs> but... It's that chemo that they take you through. So we'll get rid of your homosexuality. We'll get rid of your lust. We'll get rid of this. But the beating that they give you. Oh, what are you doing answering this? What are you doing on this app? What are you doing looking at this? What are you doing following them people? Blah, blah, blah. This, that, and the other. When I tell you they control everything. Who you follow. Who you look at. Who you seen throughout the day. That's what makes it an occult, darling. That's what makes it an occult. Marquita is pressed. Church pants. Extra starch. <laughs> uh, Why well, were you eating Thanksgiving dinner with us? I did. I did say that. I said it multiple times. And this is after it. Um, so, here it is. I'm ready. Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. I love y'all. Period. Um, thank you and good night.